Hello, Chemistry 131 students. My name is Mr. Michael Stogstill, he, him, and I'm going to be your instructor for this semester. In this video, we're going to take a little tour of our virtual classroom. So let's jump right in. Okay, so starting from a clean desktop, we're going to first need to choose which kind of browser we're going to use. Uh, I have both Firefox and Chrome. These are the ones that I would suggest that you uh, use for the best experience when we were using our Canvas classroom. Uh, I prefer Firefox, so let's jump into that and use this guy. First thing I'm going to do is navigate to mcc.edu and be greeted by the Mock Community College homepage. If I click up here on MCC for me, I'll be taken to uh, this page here where I need to log in. So I'll go ahead and log in there. Enter in my Mock Community College credentials. After it's done loading, we can now go ahead and navigate to the Canvas tab over here. Once we're in here, you guys are going to see all of the different classes that you are enrolled in. Um, we're doing this before class actually starts, so you can see that these haven't been published yet, but you're going to have one of these two, Chem 131, uh, WW01 or Chem 131 WW02 classes. Once we're into our Canvas course, we're going to be greeted with this landing page. It has contact information about me and a link down here to our uh, virtual textbook, OpenStax. Once we're into it, you can see that the entire textbook is going to be free and you can navigate through this left hand pane here to all of the different sections that we will be covering. In addition to this online uh, form of the textbook, you can also download a PDF here. This is a good option in case you don't have great internet. Um, if you're using a phone, you can download an app. And you can also order a print copy although there will be a cost for that. Back at our home screen, we can start to navigate through our regular course content. The first thing that we can see up here in our navigation pane is the syllabus. So let's click on that. Now, the syllabus contains a lot of content, um, including a lot of important dates and a lot of great information for you guys. I don't want to cover everything that's inside of the, core, uh, the syllabus with you guys right now because this would be pretty long. So let's uh, go ahead and skip to some of the better parts down here. Okay. The first thing that's important for you guys to see is the homework. The homework is what I'm going to be using in lieu of doing problems in a traditional sort of lecture class. Okay. It's not going to be graded. They're going to be from the end of the text. And I'm going to, at the end, provide you guys with all of the solutions to the homework problems. This may take the form of PDFs or videos where you actually get to see me work through the problems. The next thing that we're going to have is going to be our lecture quizzes. Okay, These are a little bit higher risk. Excluding the weeks where we're going to have exams, you're going to have two quizzes. Uh, you're going to have a week to do them you're going to be able to have two attempts at each quiz, okay? So after you finish the first quiz, you're going to go be able to go ahead and uh, see which ones you got wrong, go back in, take another attempt, and correct those. Exams, there's going to be two, a midterm exam and a final exam, and these are going to be a little bit more serious, okay? You're going to still have a week to start the exam, but you're only going to have 24 hours to complete it once you've started it. So it would be best to schedule this in such a way that you can complete the entire exam in one sitting. Um, and you're only going to get one attempt at the exam. 
And then finally, we're going to have our laboratory activities. Laboratory activities are going to be done through uh, LabFlow, and I'm going to show you in a little bit how to log into LabFlow and, uh, and complete those laboratory activities. The final section that I want to show you guys is going to be the modules. This is really going to be where you're going to spend the bulk of your time at. Um, you can see it's kind of a list, it's a chronological order of all of the things that you're going to be doing. You, For the first week here, you have this Getting Started uh, module, and you can click on these various links to learn about me, uh, read a letter that I gave you about how to be successful in this course with lots of great information, um, a little activity uh, to update your Canvas profile, you can learn a bit more about the textbook and your various options for accessing it. Uh, you have a, a link here to LabFlow so that you can see how to get logged on. Um, and then various student support services that are available through Canvas and Mod. Uh, there's a lot of really great information in here that can help you be successful not only in this course, but any course that you take about. After that, each module is arranged according to the week. It's going to start off with some readings, with some links to the text, um, and then some various activities for you to complete. This one includes something about introducing yourself in the discussion forum. I'm not grading that, and I'm not going to grade any discussion forums that we do. Uh, but it would be nice for you to do it and give us a little sense of who you are and, and why you're taking this course. After that, you're going to have the homework, which if we click on it, you can see is just a list of problems from the text. Then you're going to have the week one quiz. If you go ahead and click on that, you can see that it drops you down to a thing that tells you when it's going to be due, how many points are going to be on it, uh, how many questions there are, you can see that there's no time limit and that you're going to be allowed two attempts. If we click on it, you can take a look at the kind of format that you'll see of what sort of questions you're going to be asked. These ones are all multiple choice, but you'll see a mixture of different kinds of problems in subsequent quizzes. These two uh, link, um, activities are going to be links to uh, LabFlow, which I will show you in uh, a different section of this video. Then you're going to get to the additional resources. This week, for instance, includes a quick note that I gave about the format, um, the way that I format numbers and things like that. Then you're going to get into the presentations. And what these are are basically PowerPoint presentations that I've included to uh, sort of summarize the text for you guys. They're not really an alternative to reading the text, but they can help you to get the main ideas from the text and kind of uh, review it in a more succinct fashion. Finally, the last thing that you're typically going to see is going to be our homework solutions. These are also PDFs that I've uploaded that are my own handwritten solutions to the various problems that I've uh, assigned for that week. You can see that we didn't have many questions for the first week, so this one's kind of short. But the other ones get more and more involved. I'd like for you to read all of the questions as well, not just the ones that you have that you. Uh, had issues with um, because as I continue through the various solutions my notation tends to get more and more uh, succinct and I, I explain fewer and fewer of the things that I explained before. I really have to do this in order to be able to continue to fit the homework problems in any kind of reasonable shape and really highlight the important things that we're learning new with each problem that we complete. The final thing I'd like to show you guys is going to be LabFlow. Um, while everything that we've done so far has been through Canvas, 
our laboratory activities are going to be done through another uh, website. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to labflow.com and I'll be dropped down to the Labflow login site. Up here I'm going to input my MCC University email and then uh, a password that I was given by Labflow. Once you're in here, you're going to see that the various activities are all in these very in these panes here. It's very important to note that these scroll horizontally from left to right. A lot of students get messed up with that and they don't wind up completing all the activities. For the first week, you're going to be watching a series of videos and then completing a quiz at the very end here by clicking on this pane. You're going to do both of the lab safety videos and quiz and chemistry, math, and lab or videos quiz. In later weeks, we're only going to be doing one pane at a time, but because these ones only contain a quiz and no report, we're going to do two in the first week. Next, you'll see uh, the next lab that we're going to be doing. The, for week two is going to be chemical and physical properties. This starts off with a PDF for you guys to read through that explains the lab and the various procedures that would have been done in person, then a series of videos. You're going to have a pre-lab quiz and then uh, sample images in order to um, get it and videos to give you an idea of what you would have seen had you been in the lab working on this. Finally, you're going to be doing a report. And you can see that the lab uh, flow reports are formatted in such a way where you might be filling in a drop down box or you might be actually entering data in there. Um, you can do handwritten notes and then upload them here, maybe by taking a picture with your phone or scanning them. Uh, you may also type into these boxes directly. And I'm going to do my best to give you guys uh, extra instruction to help you complete the more difficult lab, lab reports.